What we're trying to do in our undergraduate research program, both SOAR and SURF, we are encouraging students to become more involved in the research process. We want students to make a difference. One thing you see here is that the forces are aligned right through the hip, right? Yes. Where over here, when she's going to land and go, the forces are now changed their alignment relative to the segments. Science has always fascinated me just with the notion of discovery and helping others and changing lives. And I took physics last year as a sophomore, and I thought, how can physics apply to biology? And my physics professor pointed me towards the kinesiology lab where we study biomechanics and how the human body adheres to principles of force. So over the summer, my professor wanted me to do something that was related to the Olympics. She thought, oh, you're an international relations major. Let's think of kinesiology and international relations, how they intersect. And over the summer, I worked with a grad student as she collected data for our USC volleyball team. It was interesting when we had the athletes come in, we gave them some feedback when they did their landings and they could tell right away if they were favoring one leg or the other. I think the SURF grant enables students to uh, pursue anything they want. For me, though I hope to be a doctor, I felt like international relations is crucial and I like how USC really encourages us to get that depth with breadth experience. So uh, you, you came to trust the Bible. Uh, was that was that the, the turning point for you as far as going from being a non-believer to a believer or what, what happened next? I guess? Well, I was really interested in taking advantage of the research opportunities at SC. I'd heard a lot of professors talking about what a good experience that is and how we should take advantage of that. Um, but since I'm a creative writing major, I didn't really know what that would look like for me. I spent the spring semester before I applied for SURF kind of talking to professors about what, what a research project could look like. My proposal on my project was to research religious conversion during adult life within the context of being a fiction writer. But rather than taking all this research and turning it into a paper or some sort of analytical essay, I was able to turn that information into short stories. I didn't take any one person's kind of experience and then just fictionalize it, but rather just kind of drawing on, like I said, themes that I thought were really interesting. It was just a really cool way for me as an aspiring writer to get to do some research that was intellectually very stimulating, but also fed right into what I want to do. Pretty strong contender for the most academically valuable thing I've done at SC since I've been here. This summer, I had the opportunity to go to Belize. It was part of the university's Problems Without Passports program. When I was applying for SURF, my major didn't really have anything to do with the environmental studies program that the funds were for. But I think USC really encourages their students to explore different fields of interest. What really drew me to archaeology was that you have a chance to do things with real objects. You're not just working with text and numbers, but you're working with the things themselves. Professor Dodd's class is called Religion 495, Field Methods and Archaeology. In that class, we get to do real hands-on work. Every week, we go to the laser lab here at USC. We're working with the physical chemistry department. As part of the Native American Cultural Landscapes project is to develop a technique to remove the blue graffiti without harming the paint underneath. So once you evaporate it, the rock should be clear of the material you're trying to remove, but it should still have the paint you want to keep on it really beautiful pictographs that are still actively being used today for their sacred ceremonies. So without the funds from SURF, I would never have been able to go to Belize and discover what archaeology was all about, and I would never have ended up here in the Arc Lab at USC. There's this organization called Foundation for Sustainable Development. They're based in San Francisco, and what they do is they match volunteers with internships abroad. And so I applied with them and got the internship, and they sent me to Uganda. And so I lived in a homestay and worked in an organization there. While I was working and living in Uganda, I was conducting research for my honors thesis for international relations. And so the SURF money was helping to fund my research. I really wanted to get out of the country and to see what it was like on the ground in other places. I'd been really inspired in some of my classes here at USC to look at women's issues in Africa. And it would have been really difficult for me to go do that if I hadn't had some source of funding. I think that this was a really incredible opportunity. What you see when you're on the ground and you're in the field and you're doing your own primary independent research is worlds away from what you're getting in a classroom in a textbook. So the only way to see things for yourself is to go and do it yourself. The way that I look at my, my field of study and the way that I look at international relations and research and publications is completely different now that I've done my own independent research. And I think that it gives you a critical eye that you can't develop otherwise. And so it was an amazing experience in and of itself 
I grew a lot while I was there, I learned a lot while I was there, but I also took away from it lessons that are going to be applicable for the rest of my life. Using your summers to go and do research doesn't sound like the most glamorous thing initially, but it's a great way to travel, it's a great way to see the world, and it's a great way to see the world in a way where you're not a tourist, you're not just a voyeur, you're actually participating. And just. You know, lastly, a word of advice, if you do decide to go take surf funds and you do decide to go do your research, don't get frustrated when you find out that all of your plans for research are totally blown away when you actually get on the ground. You know, research is a learning process, it's constantly evolving and part of the fun is being able to evolve with it.